ओके लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन लेट ओमेगा इक्वल्स रूट थ्री प्लस आयोटा अपॉन टू एंड पी इक्वल्स ओमेगा एन सच दैट एन फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन फर्दर एच वन इक्वल्स जेड फ्रॉम द सेट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सच दैट रियल पार्ट ऑफ जेड इज ग्रेटर देन हाफ एंड अनदर सेट एच टू इज गिवेन एज जेड फ्रॉम द सेट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सच दैट real part of z is less than minus half right where c is the set of complex numbers if z1 belongs to p intersection h1 z2 belongs to p intersection h2 and o represents the origin then angle z1 o z2 is equal to four options are given okay omega equals root 3 by 2 plus iota by 2 If I write it in the polar form, I will read it simply as cos pi by six plus iota sine pi by six means omega six will become one, right? Six root of unity, correct? We can draw these points on a circle with modulus unity like this. We can put for different values as zero angle means one. then pi by 6 angle then pi by 3 angle and so on in this manner we can draw for different ones correct similarly moving ahead we can draw like this correct this will be with the angle pi by 6 this will be with the angle pi by 3 this will be with the angle 2 pi by 3 and so on in this manner we can trace it and for other values higher ones we can also go for 2 pi plus pi by 6 etc whenever required z1 is h1 set says that z is a complex number such that real part of z is greater than half when i see here omega which is root 3 plus iota by 2 means with the angle pi by 6 if i put the angle pi by 3 it will be giving me half means on the right side of it means the portion is here correct so in this manner i can shade it similarly less than minus half portion can be shaded like this z1 is an element from p intersection h1 means p intersection h1 means from this side it can be 1 with the angle pi by 6 with the angle minus pi by 6 in this manner it can be taken correct or the angle 11 pi by 6 either way we can move for it correct z1 is saying it is greater than half means this point is not taken correct similarly for z2 we are taking points on these sides the question says z1 o z2 angle let's say i have taken z1 here O is this one and Z two is like this one. Angle I can observe it is one fifty degree because it is thirty. This is thirty, correct? This is one twenty degree. This is one fifty degree. All the angles are well known to me. So we observe that the possible angles for Z one O Z two are either two pi by three or five pi by six. because when you take the angle like pi by 3 6 and here angle 5 pi by 6 it will give you 120 correct if you take this pi by 6 and this one you will get 150 from the given options you can clearly choose 120 and 150 so the correct answers c and d let's move to the next question question number 48 simple equation If three to the power x equals four to the power x minus one, then x equals have to find the value of x. Take log on both sides. We get to the base two. If I take correct, this gives me x multiplied with log three to the base two is equal to x minus one multiplied with two. From here, I can get the value of x as This is 2x minus x into log 3 is equal to 2. So x comes as 2 upon 2 minus log 3 to the base 
2 upon 2 minus log 3 to the base 2 that is b is the correct answer. If I divide both numerator and denominator by 2, it will become 1 upon 1 minus half log 3 to the base 2 which can be written to the base 4, correct. So, this can also be considered 1 upon 1 minus log 4 base 3. Instead of taking log on both sides to the base 2, if I take log with the base 3, I will be getting x is equal to x minus 1 log 3 base 4. 3 base 4 means we can write it as 2 log 2 to the base 3. So, taking x on one side, we find x is equal to log 4 to the base 3, correct? have taken it as log 4 only, correct? Divided by log 4 to the base 3 minus 1 or it can be rewritten as 2 log 3 base 2 divided by 2 log 2 to the base 3 minus 1 that is option number A. So, the correct answers for the question number 48 decoded as A, B, C. Let us move to the next that is question number 49.